Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. I'm Chandler Walsh, and with the seasons changing, today's topic is the flu. The flu is a viral illness caused by the influenza virus. There's two types of flu generally, influenza A and influenza B. B tends to be a little less virulent, meaning it doesn't infect the patients as badly as the influenza A. Influenza A, it starts off at like in chickens and animals and it kind of shifts onto the human species. It makes it a little harder to treat it and your immune system to actually fight it. What's the difference between the flu and a common cold? The flu, you usually have a fever. You have body aches, muscle aches, you get headache. Some people have nausea, some people have vomiting, diarrhea. The common cold is not usually associated with a fever. Um, you don't get the muscle aches and pains. You still can get a runny nose, stuffy nose, a cough with the flu, and those are some of those common symptoms with the cold, but not the fever, the generalized body aches. Are certain populations more susceptible to the flu? Young children, right, less than six are more prone to the flu. Older people are also um, more prone to the flu, more likely to get very sick from the flu. People with medical conditions, if you have an underlying heart condition, a lung condition, or some type of chronic disease, diabetes, for example, um, you're more prone to the flu. And lastly, pregnant ladies are more prone to have the flu. How important is the flu vaccine? Number one way to prevent the flu is to get your flu vaccine. Um, and it is imperative that you get a flu vaccine every year because the flu changes its um, nature. You have to get a vaccine that is common with the strains that are prevalent of that flu year. Unlike the chicken pox or other types of viral illnesses, it, they don't change, the viruses don't change. So you could get one vaccine and you're done. The flu vaccine is a little different and that, that's what makes it hard to treat as well. It changes from year to year to year and so you have to get a flu vaccine every year. If a patient thinks they have the flu, what should they do? If you are one of the high risk people who have a flu, so young children, older uh, patients, patients with a chronic disease or pregnant, you actually should get the Tamiflu or antiviral uh, uh, medication. So you should definitely call your doctor um, if you feel like you have the flu. For the antiviral medication to work, it has to be taken within 48 hours of your sickness. When should a patient go to the doctor? If you have any problems breathing, you definitely should go to the emergency room. Any pain in a specific uh, spot in your body, so your chest or your sinuses, you wanna definitely go to the doctor. If the symptoms persist, if you have a fever for longer than two weeks, you definitely want to go to your, um, to your doctor. And if you can't hydrate, if you can't keep your liquids down, if you have nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, where you cannot able to drink, you want to go to the emergency room. 